So we are referring to real-world I.O. when the VDK serves as the host which is connecting to a real physical device which is plugged into the PC. Give an example for such a scenario. We are running our embedded ARM Linux on the VDK and from that Linux we are able to mount a USB stick, a pen drive, which is connected into the laptop or the PC on which we are running the VDK. So since the availability of those USB 3 laptops or PCs is still limited, the USB host server via which the connection is established also allows the VDK to connect to a machine that is remote, such as in a PC that is somewhere in the network. And this connectivity is supported on Linux and Windows. From a performance point of view, we have recently enhanced our real-world I.O. solution to now also support super-speed USB 3.0 devices. The other kind of I.O. our USB models support is called virtual I.O. and here it's exactly the other way around. In this case the VDK serves as the device which can be then accessed from the PC on which we are running the VDK. So that means when we are starting our embedded ARM Linux on the VDK we need to launch the respective gadget, such as a mass storage uh, or serial device gadget. And what happens subsequently is that the machine on which we are running the VDK recognizes that there is a new device which is ready to use. And we can now use the Windows Explorer, for instance, to open the removable disk and copy data onto this removable disk, which is then available even from our ARM Linux. And this I would like to show you in a quick demonstration. So as we can see, this is the Linux console running on our VDK. And we are now going to launch the gadget driver. In this case, we are going to launch a USB mass storage gadget. Next, we are going to use the cockpit to plug in the USB cable. And what will now happen subsequently on the host machine is that the removable disk is recognized, which we can now open from our, our host machine. And we can, for instance, put in a text file or copy a video file or whatever. But just to show you that the files which we now copy here are exactly the same that we see from the VDK, we are now going to unplug the cable and after unplugging the cable, I am able to now mount on the device side my gadget file system so I can inspect the files which I've copied on my Windows PC. So we're creating the mount point, we have mounted, and now we can check the directory contents of this mounted file system and we see the file is there. So as we can see, this is the Linux console running on our VDK and we are now going to launch the gadget driver. In this case we are going to launch a USB mass storage gadget. Next we are going to use the cockpit to plug in the USB cable. And what will now happen subsequently on the host machine is that the removable disk is recognized, which we can now open from our, our host machine. And we can, for instance, put in a text file or copy a video file or whatever. But just to show you that the files which we now copy here are exactly the same that we see from the VDK, we are now going to unplug the cable. And after unplugging the cable, I am able to now mount on the device side my gadget file system so I can inspect the files which I've copied on my Windows PC. So we're creating the mount point, we have mounted and now we can check the directory contents of this mounted file system and we see the file is there.